Hi, I'm Andrzej from Castle Game Engine team and in this video I will show you the new sprite sheet support in Castle Game Engine. I think it's really great. Sprite sheets are one of the easiest way to organize graphics in games. They allow you to save many graphics in one texture and easily create frame-based animations. If you want to make a 2D game, it's possible good option for you. Ok, let's start. First I will show you an example of platformer game we made. So first we open Castle Editor and now open project. Now we go to our Castle Green Engine directory. Examples are here, and here is platformer. Where is it? Oh, oh, it's here. So let's see how it works. Okay, compile and run. Here is. It. Let's play. Player and enemies are sprite sheets here. In this demo, we used uh, Kenny graphics. And the best is that you can download the demo and uh, make it a start point for your own game. Let's go back to Castle Editor. First I will show you how the project is organized. In the code folder we have all the uh, source code, Pascal units. Next in data directory we have audio, background, as PNG files, uh, bullet, another PNG file. Uh, I can see how it looks on the right door and enemy is the first castle sprite sheet it has castle sprite sheet extension the same is in our player we can double click to open it in our sprite sheet editor in the center there are frames on the left there are animations here is fps um, we can make it per animation faster okay, it is enough on the right there's preview it can be animation or frame so we see the selected frame okay on the top we have a new uh, open save uh, save as icons and we can choose maximum atlas size. Okay, let's try add another uh, animation. We can use these buttons here. We can use uh, F2 or uh, menu to rename it. Let's make it chair. We need frames. So let's add it to our animation. That was download. So where is it? Okay, here. PNG player, and let's see two here. Okay, second and the first frame. Okay, we can add more than one frame at the same moment. We can save it. And now our player has a new animation called Chill. We can move left, frames, or right, or top, or end. We can add more frames or delete it. We can easily edit our spreadsheet, so let's change it to other character. Maybe Okay, so 
set idle and remove old frame. Next, next we go to work animation and the same, just add, select frames, this two, and remove old frames. Next, jump animation, only one frame. Where is jump? Oh, here. And delete. Next, fall animation and delete old frame and hard animation. Okay, here. We simply need to save it and after that we can now run our game and the player will be a girl. Let's say it. Okay, let's play. Our player has changed it. All animations just works. But there's some artifacts on the graphics. Uh, this is because alpha bleeding. I don't want to go to details, but we can uh, really easily fix that. Let's view our patchy texture in Castle View Image. And here we have Alpha Bleed Fixing option. This can take some time, but uh, the graphics will, will look a lot better. This function only changes transparent pixel color or better values for blending. Almost done. I need to wait a little. And now save it. Replace. And now if we run our game, oh, we can see now our player has no artifacts. Everything looks great now. Okay. Now let's make a sprite sheet from scratch. First we need add animation, we can do that by pop-up menu, like this, or using the plus button. Now we change the name, work, and we need add uh, frames to the animation. Let's click add. Maybe mouse. Okay, let it be. Let's delete an uh, extra frame. Okay, delete. And now we have work animation. Let's add idle animation. Simply one frame. And get animation. Okay, now let's save it. Now enemies directory, let's call it mouse. Now we can close the window and let's open our level. Dying. Double clicking. Okay, just move where level starts.
to use our new sprite sheet, uh, we simply need to change URL in uh, caster scene. So let's do that. Let's choose mouse open and now we have mouse here. Let's save the design. And now we can run it. And the mouse is here. Okay. We can also use drag and drop to drop our mouse in our level, like that. And the mouse is here. Uh, on the left we can delete it if we don't want it just delete to remove it sometimes you can have all frames in one uh, file like this zombie we have here nine columns and three rows in this case we have a nice feature in our editor to speed up your work Simply we can use uh, import atlas option here. So now we can choose our atlas file. Let's go to our zombie. Open. And now we can choose number of columns and rows and click import. We have all uh, frames in one animation, but here's option to create new animation from selection. Like this, uh, we can choose this too and create another animation. Uh, after you create some animation, you can just rename it like idle or hit. Maybe also climb. This two, I think this two. Animation, create new animation from this. Let's call it climb. Let's save it. Let's call it zombie. Now I will show you how to change animation in editor and from code. Okay, so let's go back to our level. Now we just drag and drop our zombie here. Go to ground. Okay. And here, auto animation option, we can choose animation for our zombie from editor. Okay. Let's rename it to zombie to use it in a uh, source code. Okay. So let's go to code. We need to find game state play. And now we need to add a variable for, for zombie. Maybe scene zombie. Uh, now we need to get uh, a pointer to our zombie from our de design file. Just simply copy and paste and change the name to zombie. And 
and now we can ch change animation so we will use simply play animation function maybe hit and loop it okay now we can go back to our editor and just compile and our zombie still hitting it's not connected to physics engine so uh, the mouse just go and he don't do anything it's only animation Let's close it. Now I want to show you another way to create spreadsheet from starting file. It's very popular. Our format is very similar to starting file, so we can import it to our editor. Here we need to choose naming convention, are there underscores or not. As you see, all animation from the file are there Castle Scene can also directly load Cocos and Starling files Let's check it. We have here slime. Let's move it to our enemies directory. And paste here. As you can see, there's our slime. So, you can just drag and drop slime playlist here, change animation, and this is our slime. In the same way, we can load any Starlink file. So, let's try to do this. Okay, we need copy file, download Starlink. copy and here we paste it let's get this one but you need to notice that starting files can have a different naming convention Let's see the, the options in our wiki. So let's go to uh, GitHub wiki. And here are sprite sheets. Okay, and here are the options. So, anim naming can be strict underscore or trailing number. Strict underscore uh, means that after the name of animation is underscore and frame number, in trailing uh, number there is no underscore. We can set it in core options in the URL. like that okay now we have trailing number and now animations are okay so attack for example now attack zero one two okay now we can remove it 
Another option is just simply use 2D graphic files like PNG. Let's find something. Maybe some item or or there's something. Oops. Oh, let's check that. And simply drag and we have new castle scene with this file loaded in URL. Oh, maybe another tree here. Castle Game Engine also supports spine animation. Uh, we can see it in our 2D game template. Let's open it. And yes, let's save it and open. And here, if we go to data directory, game state play, double click. This dragon is a simple spine animation. You can see it here. We can simply <coughs> drag and drop JSON file to add another dragon. And we can change its animations. As you can see, you can use a lot of 2D graphics formats in your games in uh, Castle Game Engine. And Feel free to use our platformer demo as a base to your own game, even to do a commercial game. Thanks for watching, have fun and subscribe for more Castle Game Engine videos. See you!